If you've ever wanted to know exactly what bird is near you by only the sound, then I have the solution for you. A fully fledged bird call AI system that runs completely on a Raspberry Pi single board computer. Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics and today we're setting up a Raspberry Pi to run BirdNet Lite. The system we're building here can run 24 seven nonstop. It records, tracks, and displays all recognized bird calls. You can access the data and audio live streams through any locally connected device or computer. It even saves the best recordings so you can listen to them later. BirdNet Lite is the TensorFlow Lite version of the original BirdNet system. These are pre-trained machine learned softwares that can recognize more than 6,000 species from only their sounds. On the table before me is everything you need to set up your BirdNet Pi system. Naturally, you're gonna need a Raspberry Pi single board computer. We are using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 2 gigabyte here. You're gonna need a micro SD and some heat sinks for your Raspberry Pi, a USB microphone so you can capture the ambient sounds. You're also gonna need a Raspberry Pi power supply, a micro HDMI, two HDMI cord, a mouse and a keyboard. I also 3D printed a case that you can see at the end of this video, but any passive or actively cooling cases would be a fantastic addition to this setup. First step is to set up the Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer. Insert your micro SD card into a computer. You may need an adapter to do so and open up the Raspberry Pi Imager. Check the description for a download link for Raspberry Pi Imager. When navigating through the Imager, you must click the Raspberry Pi OS other to find and select the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit version. Then select your connected micro SD card and start the flashing process by clicking right. Next, attach your USB microphone to the USB 3.0 port on the Raspberry Pi. This is what's gonna to listen to the ambient noises around. Also, attach a heatsink to the top of the Raspberry Pi so it stays cool. Connect that flashed SD card and your mouse and keyboard into the system as well. To save us supplying Wi-Fi details to this Raspberry Pi, I will also connect an internet connected ethernet cord. So with power to the system, you're gonna be welcomed by the Raspberry Pi desktop. Now to install BirdNet Lite onto our Raspberry Pi. To do so, you're gonna to need to type and enter a command into a new terminal window. Open the terminal by pressing the black button on the top left of the screen. Then, to make it really easy, copy and paste the curl command from the full written up article, link to it in the description. This command is going to install all the required packages for our bird call identifying and recording system. They have a prompted by the terminal with the question, do you want to continue? Press Y and then enter key to continue the process. This command is gonna take some time, around 10 minutes, but it's gonna do everything that is necessary. Once complete, your Raspberry Pi OS is going to reboot itself. So with everything set up and with power to the system, let's now pull up the BirdNet local website that the Raspberry Pi automatically creates upon boot up. Copy the address for the user interface from the full article and paste it into the URL of any locally connected internet browser. Chrome or Firefox are excellent choices. Once here, there's a huge amount of data and pages you can access, but before all that, let's test our system. I'm gonna start by playing some Magpie calls to our Raspberry Pi. Now this is a pre-trained system, and this Raspberry Pi has never heard this recording before. It's gonna figure out what bird that was all based on new information. So a quick refresh of our birdnetpi.local page, and there is our magpie with a confidence of 75%. Let's see if we can do the same with a kookaburra laugh. And a quick refresh of the page, and there is our laughing kookaburra. Now here is a micro SD that I've prepared before. I have had a BirdNet Pi system run for a couple of days on this particular micro SD. Exploring the wealth of data and pages is gonna be a lot more interesting with more identified species. 
I'm going to quickly swap out the current micro SD with this one and turn on the system. With that done, opening up the BirdNet webpage, you can see many more birds have been identified. Diving into the data, you can see the time of day each bird call happened, the identified bird call recorded, a spectrograph of all the sounds, images of the identified species, tables, charts. It is really all there. Certain sections may require a username and password. By default, the username is BirdNet and just leave the password empty. You can change these too, if so desired. Worth mentioning, if you only want a single species or if you want to exclude species from being identified, you can do so in the tool section right here. This way, if you don't want to track certain species or only track a single species, your system is going to be easy to customize and good to go quickly. So, if you want to participate in some citizen science, then this is the project for you. As you watch this, Around the world, there are many Raspberry Pis running BirdNet Pi right now. Some have even been specially set up so you can tune into them from anywhere in the world. With enough of these devices set up in a city or country, the potential to figure out the flight paths and migrations of bird species in real time would be right at our fingertips. Bird weather is another great example of citizen science at the grassroots stage. Just check out that budding around the world coverage. All the nodes have BirdNet systems running, and the data you can see currently is for the last 24 hours. That's a lot of identifications for a single day. This is all possible thanks to everyone who's worked on anything BirdNet related. Importantly for this project, a huge thanks goes to Patrick McGuire and everyone in the community who's put the hard yards in to make installing and running this system so effortless on a Raspberry Pi single board computer. Now, this software is all open source. So if you feel like some features are missing, there's nothing stopping you from adding them. Go check out the GitHub for BirdNet Pi and the BirdNet Pi website, links in the description. I also 3D printed a case, which disguises the setup in the form of a garden rooster. The Raspberry Pi and a more omnidirectional USB microphone tucks into it very nice and safe inside. This also provides some much needed semi-waterproofing for outdoor placement. There are also some holes drilled into the case so the audio waves can still get to our AI system through the connected USB microphone. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, write me a message below. We are full-time makers and we are here to help. So with my BirdNet Pi system fully functional and you with all the information to do the same, until next time, stay cozy.